Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side. We welcome your calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about formulations, ingredients, the longevity products, anything we're speaking about here today, if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can order all your favorite longevity products off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the bright side Ben team off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you or a loved one has benefited from nutritional supplements or from the longevity supplements, help spread the word. Don't hold it all to yourself. Be generous. Let other people know. Let other people know about, the, about supplementation in general and specifically about the longevity products. The Healthy Start Pack, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Beyond OsteoFX, Ultimate EFA, Fucoid Z, they're all up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, as is a Join Now button, which you can click on if you want to start yourself a longevity business. You can also call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for more information. Also like to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C Serum, and Truth Transdermal C Balm, all packed with active materials. No preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, just active and functional ingredients if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, accelerated aging, thinning skin, fine lines. If you're looking for just an all-around anti-aging skincare program, Look no further than truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. We've been talking about sunlight, natural light, which of course was the only light that we had for 99.9% of human evolution. Sunlight, we've said, controls our bodies like a puppet master controls a puppet. We are the puppets to the sun. The sun pulls our strings and we dance, just like marionettes, just like little puppets. And it's not just the sun, it's also electrical light in general, which of course, electrical light is a form of sunlight, believe it or not. Electrons from electrical lights ultimately come from the same place all light comes from, which is the sun. Pretty much all light, all light derives from the sun and pretty much all light is going to have a biological effect on our bodies. This is very underappreciated, under-recognized, and it's very unfortunate because we can do a lot to control our hormone or to have an effect on our hormones by consciously using light, using light correctly, especially, especially getting out in the sun. And it all has to do with hormones. 
sun and sunlight play a role in ho how hormones are secreted and the kinds of hormones that are secreted, particularly the master hormones, melatonin and serotonin. These are the two master hormones in the body, melatonin and serotonin. They come out of the pineal gland, which makes the pineal gland super, super important. Melatonin and serotonin are our master hormones, but they act on our insulin. They act on all our steroid hormones. And our insulin and our steroid hormones act on other hormones. Hormones that control our blood pressure, the digestive system, our immune system, our appetite, our fertility, everything. Everything. So via, via the sun and light in general, through serotonin and melatonin, through insulin and all the steroid hormones, and then all the other hormones, our entire body is controlled by light. And that means our biology, and that means our biochemistry, and that means our illnesses and our health. Physical illnesses, physiologic illnesses, as well as mental illnesses, mental health illnesses, and mental health are all dependent on light. And once we understand this relationship between the sun and sunlight and light and our most basic biochemistry, we can begin to see how the vast amounts of lighting that we're surrounded with in our 24-hour daylight, in effect, especially if you live in a big city, we can see how this can have a huge impact on our health that is just as significant as it is under, uh, under acknowledged or unacknowledged. And I'm talking about every single health challenge you can name. I'm talking about metabolic syndrome, elevated blood pressure, Alzheimer's disease, problems handling sugar, diabetes, insomnia, infertility, eating disorders, accelerated aging, even cancer can be associated with problems with how we handle light or how we are exposed to light. And it all happens with this little eye that's located in the middle of our head, the third eye, literally. Not metaphorically or spiritually or woo-woo, literally. There's eyes in our head. There's eye tissue inside your head. There are eye cells inside your head. I'm not talking about your eyeballs. I'm talking about deep inside the caverns of your brain, in the middle of your brain. You've got an eyeball, in essence, at least eye cells. Rods and cones, color cells. What the heck? Why would you have color cells inside your head? What, what, are they, what are they looking at? Well, they're reading the light. They're reading the light that comes in through the eyes. And they're determining what kind of hormones to secrete. In the morning, you wake up in the morning, the pineal gland senses the light as the sun is coming up, and boom, melatonin is converted into serotonin. Super high amounts of serotonin, by the way, are associated with higher kind of uh, higher consciousness experiences. And ancient Egyptians leveraged this. Somehow they knew that if you got a big hit of sunlight when, you're, when you haven't been exposed to sunlight, all the melatonin that has, has been building up in your brain will get converted into serotonin. And uh, you could have a psychedelic or higher consciousness experience. And that's why they used to bury people for three days underground. And then uh, in a coffin, this is like old occult ritual stuff. They'd bury people if they want to be an initiate. They would bury the, the, the would-be initiate into the, into the higher mystery wisdom, whatever that was for them. They'd bury them in a box, keep them underground for three days, and then they'd open up the box after three days, and boom, a big hit of sunlight would, would hit the eyes of the, this person who was buried for three days in the dark. And all that melatonin that had been building up for three days would get converted into serotonin. And according to legend, anyway, they would have a big psychedelic higher consciousness initiatory experience. Those ancient Egyptians knew a thing or two. Anyway, morning, the pineal gland senses the sun. Melatonin is converted into serotonin. Serotonin is our action daytime hormone. Not really action, but stress management. I call it life management hormone. That's why first thing in the morning, you want to go right to the window and look at the sun for 10 seconds. And you can feel yourself getting energized, getting ready for the day. Try to eat serotonin containing fruits in the morning. Pineapples, bananas, tomatoes are a good source. Kiwis are a good source. Walnuts are a good source. Grains in general are a good source of serotonin. F food serotonin. Natural food serotonin. I like pineapples because you get the enzymes from the pineapples. And pineapples have some really interesting health benefits. The, the bromelain, the pineapple enzyme, has some really interesting health benefits, especially when it comes to circulation and blood flow. Also been used to treat wounds and uh, accelerate wound healing. All right, I'm Pharmacist Fan 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Okay, 
we are back on the bright side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages, benfuchsarchives.com, benfuchsarchive.com, and brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and of course you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. If you want to start a longevity business, if you're an entrepreneur or like the entrepreneur lifestyle, if working out of your home appeals to you, if you've got a family you want to hang around with, you don't want to go to work in the office every day, you just work out of your home office, you can write off your home office, write off your ta- your stamps and your your pens and your uh, your gas mileage. It's a really cool way to, to earn a living, really network marketing and working out of the home, especially in the world when you can play in the world of nutrition, which is really the fundamental aspect of our health, or one of the most fundamental aspects of good health. There's all kinds of aspects to good health. Moving your body is important. Exercise is important. Rest is important. Psychological, mental, and uh, spiritual strategies are important, but nothing is more important than getting yourself on a good nutritional supplement program. We can help you do that. If you're interested, call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And don't forget to ask about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business. Call 866-735-2470 or sign up right off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, so we are light beings. We are solar beings. Understanding how to leverage the power of light, leverage the power of the sun can be very important for helping deal with pretty much all health challenges. Sunlight or light contains different uh, color fractions, if you will. You've all heard Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Those are the different colors associated with light, Roy G. Biv. Sunlight is broadly, you can, the two main color categories of sunlight are blue and red. Blue light has a suppressant effect, calming effect. Blue light, uh, uh, I'm sorry, blue light has a uh, action effect. Blue light suppresses melatonin. Blue light has a uh, activity effect. That's why they put fluorescent lights in offices. Fluorescent lights are blue light, primarily blue light, and you're energized when you're under fluorescent lights. Too much fluorescent light can cause problems because fluorescent light and blue light can help, uh, can cause a suppression of melatonin. Blu-ray, by the way, if you're watching Blu-ray DVDs before you go to bed, that can have a suppressant effect on melatonin. If you're watching a Blu-ray DVD right before you go to bed, you may notice that you have more problems with insomnia. Probably a good idea not to do that. Exposure to blue light can have a significant impact on health. It can lead to things like anxiety, jitteriness. According to a report from the European uh, Commission, exposure to blue light at night may be associated with an increased risk of breast cancer, also sleep disturbances, mood disturbances, cardiovascular disease. Blue light is stimulating. It's act- it has an action effect. It's maybe good at the office, but it's not good when you come home. And yes, uh, even if you don't have fluorescent lighting, you can be exposed to blue light because just ordinary light bulbs can emit blue light. When you're coming home, when you're after, day, uh, after work, when you come home, use as dim a light as you need. Use as dim a light as possible. And you can actually go out and buy red lights. You can actually use a red light and that can have a nice kind of uh, relaxing effect. Blue light will make you feel alert, but if you dim your lights or use more red light, that can have a calming and relaxing effect. So the sun and light, all of this has an effect on our bodies via the activity of hormones, sunlight, incandescent light, fluorescent lighting. All light will have an effect on our body via hormones, and this is extremely important to understand, and it's under-recognized, and many, many of our health issues, our health challenges can be related to disturbances in how we, uh, how we expose ourselves to light. And when I say disturbances, I'm talking about disturbances compared to how our bodies grew up. We've only had lighting for the last hundred years. We've been around on planet Earth as human beings for hundreds of thousands of years. And it all happens with the pineal gland. Pineal gland senses the light and secretes melatonin and serotonin accordingly. So serotonin is not the happy, fuzzy hormone that we have all been led to believe. It's an action hormone. It's a daytime hormone. It helps us handle daytime stresses. Too little serotonin is associated with fatigue and lethargy, not feel, not wanting to do anything. Too much serotonin is associated with paranoia and psychosis. 
Serotonin helps us handle the potential dangers of daily life, whether it was on the African savanna a million years ago or in the concrete savanna, the concrete jungle that we live in uh, in the year 2017, 2018. The concrete African savanna, I should say. It's a vigilance hormone, serotonin is. Melatonin is the opposite. It's a relaxing hormone. It's the opposite of serotonin. These things are antagonist. They antagonize each other. Melatonin makes us sleepy, calms us down. It's an anti-aging hormone. Serotonin, on the other hand, speeds things up. It can accelerate aging. It makes us hypervigilant. And there's also a very interesting effect between uh, sunlight and the stress hormone well known as cortisol. Everybody's heard of cortisol at this point, but if you haven't, cortisol is our stress management hormone. Serotonin is our daily life hormone. Cortisol is a stress management hormone, extremely important hormone. And many times we beat up on this really important hormone, but it is super duper important. We think, you know, if you've listened to this program, I'm guilty of making cortisol sound like a bad guy because usually it is a bad guy because we're all secreting too much of this stress hormone. But the fact of the matter is, is like, like uh, serotonin, cortisol is a stress management, a life management hormone. Cortisol spikes first thing in the morning. As soon as sunlight hits your eyes, not only does serotonin levels go up to help us handle the day, but cortisol levels go up first thing in the morning. Usually around four or five o'clock, most people will get up, even if, even if you don't feel like getting up, or even if uh, you thought you were going to be sleeping in that night or that day, a lot of times we'll just wake up at four or five o'clock in the morning and can't go back to sleep. That's cortisol. That's your body's own natural coffee. We secrete our own natural coffee first thing in the morning. In fact, coffee works by mimicking cortisol because a lot of us are not making enough cortisol. And that's a whole nother issue. Yes, we talk about too much cortisol, but not enough cortisol can also cause a problem because cortisol gives you energy. Cortisol is a life management hormone. When people start a cortisol prescription program, we know cortisol by the name prednisone. I should say we know prescription cortisol by the name prednisone. A lot of times people get on prednisone and man, you feel really good. How interesting is it that when the body secretes a hormone that helps us handle stress, we really feel good, at least for a little bit. This is one of the reasons why people will get addicted to cortisol-inducing behaviors, especially foods. It's very ironic how we will become uh, addicted to the foods that cause the most problems. We will love the foods that cause us the most problems, and partially this is the result of cortisol secretion. We get addicted to cortisol. So we eat our uh, brownies, spikes our cortisol. We feel good for a second or two. And then the cortisol drops or we become resistant to cortisol, we gotta go get more brownies. Or if, we have, if we're allergic to gluten, gluten or other food intolerances can also cause a spike in cortisol. So this is why people can become addicted to foods like, like gluten and flour and bread and cereal, even though they don't feel so good after they eat those foods because of cortisol. So cortisol is not always a bad guy, not always a good, like all hormones, like all biochemicals, it's not good and not bad. They have their roles to play, but understanding how to leverage them and take advantage of them is really what health is about. You back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. We will get to your calls here in just a moment. A couple interesting studies I want to read first from uh, Science Daily. Actually, this is from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, published in Science Daily, actually published in the American Journal of Clinical, Clinical Nutrition, and then on Science Daily. Whole eggs better for muscle building and repair than egg whites. Turns out the people who consume 18 grams of protein from whole eggs actually had a more muscle development, more protein synthesis, and a better post-workout muscle building response than those eating eggs, uh, than those eating just egg whites. I have said this for years. Eat the yolks, throw away the whites if you're gonna throw anything away. You actually eat the whole darn egg. This idiotic, crazy notion of throwing out the egg yolk and just eating the white is so tragic when it comes to nutrition. There is no better nutrition, uh, there's no better, no more well-rounded, no more perfectly balanced nutrient than a whole egg. 
the entire egg. Some people can't eat eggs. It's unfortunate. I understand. And I'm not necessarily saying to eat 8 to 12 eggs or 15 eggs a day. Although, if you want to eat that many eggs, I don't think, I don't see there's any problem doing it. But at least a couple eggs a day. At least a couple eggs every couple of days. Such an amazing source of nutrition. Try to cook your eggs as little as possible. The fats in eggs are really valuable and very unstable. So when you cook your fat, when you cook your eggs, you could destroy those wonderful, wonderful essential fatty acids. Try to eat your eggs soft boiled or poached or ideally, if you can, raw eggs. And I know about salmonella and that hardly ever happens. Make sure your eggs are clean, very clean and very fresh. No cracks. Okay, from uh, Nature Genetics and Nature Communications, prostate tumors tend to be what scientists call slow growing and self-contained and as it turns out, it may be dietary fat and changes in fat metabolism that promotes their growth. I have said this also for years. Prostate cancer, like all cancers, have to be fo uh, have to, uh, you want to focus on the fatty system of the body. How cells grow is very dependent on fats because cells talk to each other at the level of a membrane. That membrane, that coating on top of a cell is so freaking important, it's almost impossible uh, to, uh, under, uh, to overestimate how important the, the cell membrane is, especially when it comes to how cells talk to each other. Cancer is a talking problem. It's a communication problem. As uh, they said, as that guy said in Cool Hand Luke, what we have here is a failure to communicate. That's what a cancer cell is. It's a failure to communicate. It's a communication problem. Ordinary, ordinarily, cells talk to each other and they tell each other when to stop growing. A cell's neighbors will say, hey, Mr. Cell, time to stop growing. You're encroaching on my territory here. Don't grow anymore. It's kind of a cooperative thing that cells do. That's how they can, 100 trillion cells can organize somehow coherently to produce the human body. Cancer cells are cells that don't communicate. And in large part, their communication, the communication has to do with fats at the level of the membrane. That's why our cancer epidemic goes hand in hand with our epidemic of ingestion of processed fats. Prostate cancer in particular is a fatty cancer. The prostate gland is extremely fatty and that's why fat metabolism has been linked to prostate cancer and that's why using fatty nutrients and making sure you're eating super clean when it comes to fats is your best strategy for avoiding or reversing or healing from prostate cancer if you've had some kind of chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Work on your fats. And when I say fats, I'm not just talking about essential fatty acids. They're very important for prostate cancer and for all cancers. Omega-3 and omega-6. Use your ultimate EFAs. But also I'm talking about fatty vitamins, especially vitamins A and D, which play a major, major role in prostate cancer or the lack of prostate cancer, as does vitamin E and probably does vitamin K. Also, minerals, which are fatty, play a seriously important role when it comes to reversing or preventing prostate cancer. Zinc in particular, which is a mineral that is processed by the fat system of the body. If you're supplementing with zinc but you had a gallbladder removed or you're not, uh, you're not handling your fats correctly at the level, level of the liver or the level of the intestine, you may not be absorbing your zinc, which is why along with your minerals and along with your EFAs and along with your vitamin A and vitamin D, you want to use your ultimate enzymes, digestive enzymes. You also want to make sure that you're using a good probiotic supplement for all cancers, but especially for prostate cancer. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. John's been holding on a long time. Let's welcome John from Pasadena to The Bright Side. Good morning, John. Good morning. Hear me okay? Is this John? This, you don't sound like John. Yeah. No, I know. I'm sorry. We had to. Uh, I'm his wife. Hi, <laughs> so hi, John's wife. Um, no, nope, no problem. <laughs> so What's going I have on? A couple, uh, couple of things. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you the first one is not the main point of my call. Uh, okay. But I wanted to thank you for the recommendation to take the nightly essence. My ah. goodness, I yes. had a problem since uh, I, since I can remember. I had a stomach problem all the time, and uh, it, it just, you know, oh, that's amazing. overnight, 
it, you got rid I of it. I love it. I love it. I say and it's then, amazing. It's not. It's not really amazing. I've, I've seen these. Yeah, and it seems amazing. It seems like a. Like I say at the beginning of the program, it seems like a miracle, but it's not. It's just right. how it works. <laughs> I don't have. To, I'll tell a story about how I discovered the power of probiotics here on another program. Right. But suffice it to say that when you encourage somebody or suggest to somebody who's never been on a probiotic supplement, who's had digestive issues their whole life or his whole life, uh, it, it's just unbelievably dramatic. And you yeah. know. The misery that can be caused by irritable bowel syndrome, ulcerative colitis, or any digestive health issue is really hard to even describe. And when you find a supplement that, that is that powerful for reversing those kinds of health challenges, well, that's something that you just got to tell folks about. Thank you for sharing that. Appreciate it, Joan. Uh, Mrs. John, what Thank is your you. name, ma'am? What is your name? Who am <laughs> I speaking to? Esther. Esther. Okay, go yeah. ahead. How can I help so, you today, Esther? Thank you. And it's more like a sanity check. Uh, the thing is that we don't we don't do doctors. I'm kind of you know I touch them with a ten foot pole. Maybe not really, <laughs> but uh, you know I I just uh, I'm very my husband is even worse. He we don't trust doctors at all. But um, he started on the nightly essence, and, and uh, you know we tried to call you last week and we didn't get through. But um, so by now it's the problem is over, so it's okay. <laughs> Okay. I, I know I, we did. The what, right was thing, the so what was the problem? What was the problem? What was the problem? Um, he started to feel like a strange sensation in his stomach. He would be eating, and then oh no, okay, gotta stop. Uh, you know, he lost twenty pounds in a month. But oh my he was goodness. very happy for that. But you know, it's uh, like kind of fast, and oh well. Um, I I was worried because he he would cough at night. The way he coughs is like. Uh, Maybe this is another issue he has. He coughs, and it sounds like he's throwing up. But actually, what he his body wants to do is just to burp. And you just had, that he, sounds yeah sounds like this, your husband has some serious digestive stuff going on. Do a food diary. Okay. Isolate problem foods. All That's right. probably your best yeah. bet at this All point. Right. Okay. Did you yeah. have a question for me? Uh, yeah. Just, wanted... just because uh, you know what happened was that uh, he stopped taking the nightly essence of but. 30 days after he started. Yeah. Uh, are you going to commercials or something? Yeah, I'm going to commercial. Hang on. Don't go away. Uh -huh. We'll finish up when we yeah, come back. Sure. No I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Farms has been here. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to uh, Mrs. John Esther in Pasadena. <laughs> hey, Esther. So why don't you ask me a question? Because I got a bunch of calls I want to get to. So what's going on? Sure. How can I help you? Okay, so the question is, um, and because my reaction, it seems like, can he go back to it? It seems it, the detox... Esther, you're cutting out, and I'm not hearing what you're saying here, my dear. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you so hear me? Hello? Yeah, now I do. Now I do. What, what's going on? How can I help you? Okay, my husband had a, a detox reaction, I think. Had, I don't know. But he it, had a it, detox is, reaction uh, like, to what? I, I think. I, I don't know, but uh, after he stopped taking the nitri acid, um, he had uh, swelling on his left foot very red and uh i thought well, no i'm not well, that's not a detox reaction ma'am no swelling oh, okay. swelling on the left foot is something he really wants to be focused on how old is your i mean paying attention to how 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 old is your husband 66 all right think circulation yeah. is he on any medication no, we take the, we're on the longevity regimen pretty much. There's a, there's a circulatory issue happening there, not uncommon. He's uh, 66 years old. It could be related to blood sugar problems, usually is related to problems with blood sugar. Look for food issues. He sounds like he already has food issues and eliminate problem foods because that can complicate circulatory problems. Lay off his sugar, treat himself like a diabetic. I'd be on sweeties if I were him in addition to whatever you're taking, ultimate niacin. And then when I say treat him like a diabetic, that means stay away from any foods 
that spike blood sugar as best as you can, bread, pasta, potatoes, rice, sweets, etc. And then uh, also anything you do to support lymphatic movement, the lymphatic system is your toxin system, a toxin clearing system, um, a rebounder, jumping on a rebounder, hanging upside down, any, any kind of there? movement, any kind of movement, breathing, <laughs> deep breathing, uh, move right. that leg around. Move, it sounds like a it circulatory problem. And then it, 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 uh, it, it also went onto the right foot and up his, to his right There's feet. an issue there. That's nothing to mess around with, ma'am. I mean, he's got some problems. And here's what's concerning. What do you mean mess around with? What, what do you mean I, I would be, go, I'd be having that check because it sounds like, with all due respect, I don't, I don't mean to sound harsh or anything, it doesn't sound like you know what you're doing here because you're telling me. Exactly. You're, you're t- I, telling me exactly, you know, he's doing all these I things. Don't. So that's why I say you got to have that checked out at this point. If his circulatory system is so disrupted that he's clogging up to the point where he's swelling in his extremities and the swelling is spreading, there's something cooking in his blood in the blood circulation. It's much more than you could take care of with a nutritional supplement at this point because the condition is probably really? deteriorated. Yes, I would be having that looked at. I wouldn't be messing but around with it. it's almost over it now. Would it be uh, still? It shouldn't be swelling. There's nothing that should be swelling in there, especially spreading. If it's spreading from I, his... I know, but, but now it seems to be, you know... Still, he has something going. There's something going on in there. I mean, that's just my opinion. I'd be having that looked at. I'm going to let you go, right. Esther, but I would be Thank really you, taking bye-bye. that... I'd be taking that seriously. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. Very okay. good. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah, once the body's been broken, broken down for decades, and it has for many of us, it has, especially if we don't know what we're doing, you don't want to mess around when you start to have symptomology that's dramatic. Because as much as su- supplementation, I believe in supplementation, and as important as, as, as functional as the reversal system in the body is, once it's been deteriorating to the point where you're dramatically symptomatic, you really want to know what's going on inside the system, especially when there's swelling, because that means the blood, and the blood is everything. All disease has dirty blood behind it, and, I'm including, and that includes the biggies, autoimmunity, cancer, and heart disease. Okay, eight four four two three six sixty ten. Let's go to Doug in Overland Park, Kansas. Good morning, Doug. Welcome to the Bright Side. Thank you for taking my call. I have questions about tinnitus. Mm. For you? You recommended Suroviv plans to clean the blood to eliminate tinnitus. Well, it's not quite that simple, although Swerov, as you're calling it, S-U-E-R-O-V-I-V, Swerov, is extremely important for cleaning the blood. Tinnitus is not an ear problem. It's an inflammatory problem that affects the ear. There's inflammation at the level of the nerves, and some people even believe in the brain that is causing that ringing. So you want to deal with tinnitus like you deal with any inflammatory issue. Inflammation is defense. That means your defense department has been alerted. You're on red alert. Just picture like a NORAD or something with the, with the sounds, the, you know, the, the buzzer going off. I don't know if that's what the sound is like in NORAD, but I imagine that's what it's like. When there's an enemy, enemy invasion, when there's an enemy invasion in the body, the immune system, which is the inflammatory system, perks up. It can often happen inside the head, and because the blood vessels in the ear are so tiny, and because the nerves are so tiny, when you have inflammation in that area, it's almost a guarantee that you're going to have a disruption in hearing. And it can easily cause that ringing, that horrible ringing sound that tinnitus sufferers deal with. If you're not dealing with it, dealing with it at the level of the inflammatory slash immune system, you're missing your power, and you're running risks of things getting worse. So you got to do what everybody has to do when they're dealing with a health challenge. Number Number one, work on your digestive system. This is where Swero-V can come in handy. Not like it's a cure, but this is where yes, the Swero-V can come in handy is where you fast for a couple of days and the Swero-V allows you to fast. The Swero-V kind of helps your blood clean itself. It's like you stop putting toxins in the blood. The, cleaning, the blood cleaning processes can begin. Then you're going to look for, uh, do the elimination diet where you look for problem foods and you're going to eliminate those foods. Eat a food, see how you feel. Be- better eat a food, write it down in a book, and then keep track of how you feel in the book and you kind of notice patterns. Be a detective. Be a food and digestive system detective. If you ever talk to a detective or a detective talks to you, he's going to have a notebook with him and he's going to take notes because detectives take notes. 
Doctors, take notes. Nurses, take notes. Pharmacists, take notes. Well, we should all be taking notes. That's where uh, the food diary comes in. It's like a little journal of how your body is responding to foods. You can also, if you have tinnitus, you can also see if certain foods make the tinnitus worse. And that's another way you can, or if you have a skin problem, see if t foods affect your skin. A lot of times people with tinnitus will have skin problems because it's all kind of the same thing. And what I'm saying here is the power over your tinnitus, like the power over our, all our health challenges, begins with lifestyle choices, especially foods and working on the digestive system. There are also nutrients that you can take that will help with digestive health, including the Swero V, that will also help you with tinnitus. And I'm thinking in specific probi uh, probiotics, the nightly essence, digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes, zinc. We don't often talk about zinc as being important for the digestive system, but you better believe it is. It's important for the production of hydrochloric acid. It's important uh, for healing the gut. If you have leaky gut syndrome, it has antibacterial properties. It's wonderfully anti-inflammatory. And zinc deficiency is very, very common. And zinc has also been implicated or zinc deficiency has been implicated in specifically in tinnitus. So you might want to use zinc. Use all your B vitamins, all of them. Uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is a great source of the Bs. I'm sorry. Oh, we just lost. I think we just lost our caller. I uh, hope that helps. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Tinnitus, think digestion, think inflammation, think immunity. Don't think ears. Think immunity and the, and, uh, the inflammatory system. All right, let's go to Tom in... Uh, hmm, I have problems here. Uh, shucks. Hey, can you get me Tom, uh, Brad? I don't know. Yeah. Hey, Tom, you there? Yes, I'm here. How you doing, man? Welcome to the Bright Side. Okay, good. I'm calling you back. You asked me to call back. And I called in a couple, three weeks ago about acid reflux, okay. and you gave me a few things to do okay. and to call back in a week. I've been taking the bone broth, the L-glutamine, amino-9, hydrochloric and? acid, and? spinach and kale. I've and? tried to cut my um, uh, sugar consumption. I've done so Good. by more How, than half. How's the GERD? I've, how's the heartburn? Well, you know, it's uh, I was belching. I wanted to, to do away with the omeprazole. I, I stopped it, but then I got more heartburn, and I had to go back. But I had a reduction in quantity from 40 to 20. I'm eating more protein. Are you and, noticing you feel uh, better? That's, are you notice, Are you, you noticing that you feel better? Somewhat, but uh, all right. Kind of. Some, are you trending in the right direction? It's only been a week. Are you trending in the right direction? Uh, it's actually been three weeks, and uh, I was trending in the right direction, and I had a relapse with the with a, with a heartburn. Okay, that's great. That's actually great news because now you can see what you did that triggered that relapse, and that's an important clue for you. So look at what you did right before you had that relapse. You, you must have done something different to get that flare-up, and flare-ups are always going to be a great source of information for you because if you can figure out what you did right before you got the flare-up, you're going to have a powerful piece of data that will allow you to, to ultimately eliminate your symptomology. By the way, I, didn't, I don't know if I told you about apples, but a lot of folks get benefits from apples. My brother actually... Uh, treated his GERD very effectively by eating half an apple uh, after all of his meals. He waited a little bit, like maybe five or ten minutes after he ate a meal and then eat half an apple. You can also eat some apples in the middle of the day, uh, and that can sometimes help you, or also before you go to bed at night. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for calling Tom. Appreciate it. Thanks to all our listeners. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and all the longevity products at pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.